What's going on everyone? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD Mobile video. So today I have finally done it. I have finally earned the diamond camo for the newly released Holger 26 LMG and just in time right before the mythic weapon comes out. So as of right now of recording all of this, it is currently 12 11 a.m. So we have about a little bit over 18 hours before the mythic weapon comes out. So thankfully, I'm glad, like I said, I got this done in time because I didn't want to really like I think it would just be a little bit too much because I still have to work on the clan war stuff. I won't lie, you know, doing the gold and diamond challenge for this weapon did make me fall behind a little bit. So hopefully next week I don't get kicked out for the lack of activity, but I have been catching up a little bit. But yeah, I'm sorry that I had to release this video so late at night. Um, yeah, so basically here it is. Here's the diamond holger lmg so now that it has been unlocked i think it's time to you know just make my final thoughts about the holger 26 so overall this weapon is pretty much well balanced all around i mean you could use it as an lmg you could use it as an assault rifle or you could even use it as an smg so finally we have a more effective type of lmg i mean you could say that the chopper is pretty decent with the crossbar but even then, it still really isn't a great LMG overall because it still has very, very low damage. This one, on the other hand, does have a significantly higher amount of damage. You can actually four shot people, maybe five shot people from pretty decent ranges. If you manage to get like about one or two headshots, it basically turns into a three shot kill. One thing to keep in mind is that having a double stack mag or even that other mag option is pretty viable for this gun because it does increase the ADS speed by 25%. So if you're a person that likes rushing, I recommend using one of those, um, depending on what you have unlocked. But most chances you're going to already have the double stack mag unlocked. So yeah, if you're a person that is kind of trying to mix it all together, like here, what I'm doing. Um, for me, I know a lot of you guys use a uh, vulture, but for me, I use toughness a lot because in the middle, in the middle of gunfights, I really do not like flinching because it, it can be really annoying and atrocious sometimes. So I decided just to use toughness, so that's why I have the 100 round mag. But I did manage to kind of like balance it out together so I could have like a decent amount of stability, range, and also like overall control. So just in case you guys want to know the, t the class setup, I do have it right here. It's tactical suppressor, MIP light barrel, no stock, OWC laser tactical, and rubberized grip tape. So yeah, this is pretty much the perfect class that I can think of that kind of balances everything together when it comes to speed, stability, and just overall, like, range. Um, the, the tactical suppressor, I know a lot of you guys are going to question that. Um, I just do that simply just to keep myself off the map, of course. If you're not a person that really cares too much about having a suppressor, you could always replace it with a sight or like a different perk or something like that. So I know a lot of you guys would instantly question this and ask me why I would even bother to have a class setup like this. Well, obviously for me, since like I said, I don't have Vulture, I'm going to run out of ammo pretty quickly and even before I get the nuke. So, you know, having a 100 round mag does help for getting a nuke and just staying alive after that. And also because, I mean, yes, it's an LMG that has so much flexibility, but at the same time, I could use an SMG if I want mobility. Like, I could use a QXR or QQ9. Like, really, what's the difference? So, yeah, that's pretty much my take on this weapon. I mean, yes, there's a lot of flexibility options, but, you know, the way I have it right here is the way I like it. Of course, if, it's, if, it, if I have to play Search and Destroy or a different type of game mode that doesn't really require me to get a lot of kills, yeah, I'll change the mag. But, you know, if it's just going to be hard point TDM all the time, especially with me, it's like, you know, this is probably the best setup that I, I can get or I could think of at least. I mean, think about it. What you just saw right now on the screen, I mean, like, it, it's clear to me that I'm capable of handling myself even with this low amount of like ADS speed. It's it's still pretty cool to me. I mean, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. Of course, it's really up to you if you want to use the class setup. Of course, you could always use the Damascus uh, class setup, one that I had before prior to this video. So yeah, um, anyways, I'm pretty much going to conclude. I'd said my piece about this weapon. It's really good, like I said. Um, is it going to be part of the meta? I know a lot of you guys were asking me that. Um, I don't really think so, and that's mainly because the QXR and the QQ9 are, like, still the best weapons. Uh, in terms of mobility, yes, it's the fastest LMG, and it maybe can compete against other SMGs, but 
I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm still... I, we still need a little bit more time before I could ultimately decide on that. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for some more COD Mobile content. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.